Welcome to the Walpole High Film Festival's podcast, One Point Perspective, a podcast that explores the world of digital filmmaking and talks to young aspiring filmmakers in high school, college, and beyond. Now here are the hosts of the show, Mike Allen and James Conley. On today's episode of One Point Perspective, we sit down with the legendary Joey Haskins. Joey will talk to us about his two movies that he directed and how it was to act in this year's film festival. All right, we'd like to welcome the legendary Joey Haskins to the studio. Welcome, Joey. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. So, Joey, for those who have not seen any of the movies this year, Joey directed two movies, one of which was a documentary called The Word. And the other was the movie Overdue, which is a Clue-esque movie. takes place in the library. And Joey also acted, for which he got a nomination for Best Supporting Actor. So we're very excited. Yeah, very excited to have Joey here today. So Joey, tell us about what it was like making um, both movies this year. So making The Word, it was mainly made in a television class because it's mainly a television studio film. And so what we did was uh, gather as much B-roll, we interviewed as many people as we could, teachers, faculty, parents, and all these uh, other people to sort of get their opinion on a very serious subject. And that played on... Thursday night, which actually both your movies played on Thursday night. Yes. And that started off the night, and I believe, I mean, from where I was standing, which was, I could see the whole audience, it was very well received. Yes, I believe it was very well received, too. And we showed Mr. Allen it, and we showed Mr. Imbush it, and I'm pretty sure you saw it as well beforehand. When uh, we showed Mr. Imbush, he said that he didn't want, like, anything blurred out. Disclaimer, there are swear words in the words, so if you buy the DVD, just so you know... It was so cool that he uh, let us do it. Yeah, yeah, it was a little more effective. Yes, it was a more effective. And so later that night, Overdue played. Yes. And that movie, that started off the second half of the night, and it was very well received. Yes, I, I believe it was very well received, too. Um, a lot of people were coming up to me after and saying, congratulations, the movie was really funny. And, uh, you know, it was a fun movie to make all together. Uh, the, P- the crew was just so great we are all like incredible friends already you know uh having fun on set uh always making each other laugh yeah and i remember uh when emily and juliana were writing the script they were writing your part that you played it was uh jack they were writing that part with you in mind so they're essentially writing the part to you yeah which um, definitely helps and like we said the acting in that movie was very good because when we look at it i mean four of you got nominated for in an acting award so that's like that in itself is very incredible yeah and you guys should be very proud of the job you did i should say that like i did tell some people to you to sort of act this way or act that way but uh most of the javon emily and juliana acted is sort of like just at their own you know, I just gave him a few pointers. Yeah, and that's that's you putting on your director hat. So you had that actor, director, cinematographer hat, which you also got recognized for. And, and, you know, kind of wearing all those hats is definitely fun. And you've been around film and the film festival for a little while now. All four so, years of my yeah. high school career. So, so it's and good. It's a good. This is a great way to go um, to go out on your senior year, you know. Yeah, to, you know, like uh, just um, being an actor for the first three years and now, like, just... Finally, um, being a director slash writer, cinematographer, you know, it feels like it's, I'm leaving uh, high school right. Yeah, and you're definitely leaving. I know our good friend Nick Piccarelli says, try to leave, you know, the film festival in a better place than when you came in. And you're definitely leaving, you know, a good blueprint for kids that are in your shoes. um, Yeah. You know, for the future Joey Haskins out there. One thing we're going to do on this kind of behind the scenes segment is we're going to read some of the comments that have come in from Academy members out there. So Academy, if you're trying to remain anonymous, sorry, but your cover might be blown here. Uh, so I know that you know Matt Landry. Uh, he's yes. been around for a while. I'm, I'm old friends with Matt Landry yeah. right now. And he, he had some good things to say about Overdue. He said... Huge fan of Overdue. I found it to be the perfect balance of Clue and And Then There Were None, which 
is exactly what you guys are going for. So yeah. he also followed it up with uh, Joey was fantastic. He was perfect for the role. It was written for Joey and Joey crushed it and it paid off. I mean, as we know, you got the nod for the supporting actor. Yeah. Uh, Matt and I, we go way back. Uh, we was participating in like a summer drama camp, like a a long time ago and like Matt was always there he was always there and he helped me you know get a get comfortable in the role of acting and you know sort of helped me be a little bit more funny in life I mean that's look at that full circle and then yeah he gets to watch you and uh give pointers and give comments for you yeah that's amazing we always have great comments from Jackie Gate we, we also had some from Matt Mullen this year but I'm going to steal one of Jackie's this is the 16th year of the festival, and he was just very curious. How has, like, a Clue-esque movie never been done before? And, and do you have anything to say to that? So it does make—it is sort of baffling that it's never been made before. I feel like the way it's sort of been done, the sort of comedy that Clue offers, um, it's, sort of, it's sort of unique, you know, in a very eccentric and— way that i think is very funny and you know jackie he's really funny yeah like i don't want to sound like a broken record but we also are good friends like yeah. um my cousin and him he were good friends and i always met him and he was always cool yeah and your cousin is the legendary justin Conway. yes yeah. yes um and i feel like a good good comment i would like to to end this podcast on um like to see what you have to say about this as well, is from Lauren LaRusso. So she says that Overdue was one of those movies where you watch it and you feel yourself having fun because of how much fun the cast is having. And I feel like that definitely translated to the screen and for the shoots that I was down there, that, yeah. was, that was very true. Yeah, there's a sort of running joke um, where uh, Mr. Conley and Mr. Allen, uh, they they were very they weren't very involved in us as they were in the other crews. So like we always were like freely just doing whatever we want, <laughs> and so like and we always had fun. Like uh, like any time the camera wasn't rolling or even when it was rolling, we were always having fun. You know, we always uh, we felt helped. Uh, bonds and you know it feels sort of like we just be- became like very good friends uh by the end of this all right well joey thank you for coming down to chat with us uh looking forward to thursday for the red carpet yes thank you very much oh, yeah. you've been listening to walpole high film festivals podcast one point perspective